cells. Cut out the light and the train stops. They have a scenery of their own, these remote Shetland Islands, of which less than half are inhabited. They have a history of their own too, and history was about to be made again as the islanders prepared a splendid welcome for their queen. Her visit had to be postponed from last year, but now from Britannia, Her Majesty came with Prince Philip to land at Lerwick. The visit was the first made to the Shetlands by a monarch since the Norse King Haakon came some 700 years ago. If President is followed, said the Queen, the next visit will be in 2657. To the crofters and fishermen and lifeboat men, to all the sturdy folk who greeted Her Majesty, she said, thank you for such a forgiving welcome. A graceful apology for that cancelled visit in 1959. Fishing is a major industry in the Shetlands. Both the Queen and the Prince made a special point of greeting men of the fleet. There was a rolls for the royal visitors, a 30-year-old vintage masterpiece worthy of the great occasion. Her Majesty went to see an exhibition of island produce. For example, world-famous Shetland wool on the hoof. For the islanders, these are indeed golden fleeces. And the equally famous ponies, as hardy and as friendly as the folk who breed them. The Queen later accepted the gift of a pedigree filly named Valkari when she continued her tour of the islands.